The Bigfoot project is an attempt to get the perfect cooling below the nozzle and around the nozzle on the ANET A6. Let's take a look how it works. The holes in the back of the Bigfoot has a perfectly angle so the air is flowing below the nozzle and down to to the hotbed. At the side there are four holes in totally eight holes on each side that is blowing directly into the nozzle to maintain and keep the temperature totally perfect. Let's print this thing. Well, the print is done, and uh, let's see if we can get this baby off here. Very easy, and as you can see, looks quite good. And now it's time to see if it's fit. Take the old off. There we go. And as you can see, the nozzle is absolutely perfect in there. So what I want to do now is to make a, a cube test and uh, see how it will come out. So let's do that. Well, it looks uh, really good. It's a layer height on uh, 0 0.2. I think I printed this on, uh, on uh, I think it was 45 millimeters per second. I also met, uh, made a, a very tight infill, so everything shakes a lot. So all in all, it looks good. It's PLA. It's printed on plexiglass with no heat, no nothing, no hairspray, no glue. It just sticks on the bed. So let's take a look and get it off. It gets very easy off, as you see. So, and uh, let's take a look. It looks really nice, really nice. So let me measure as well. Let's see, 1.58, 1.58. 6, 6, 1, 300, 5, 8, and 6. So it's perfect. Uh, it should be 10, it's 300 below. And here's a little bit more. Could be, I don't know why. Ah, it's 300. So, all in all, the cube looks good. I'm happy with it. The layers are nice. Yeah. So that's it. 
Thank you for watching. I will uh, place a link to Thinkiverse for the blower if you want to print it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.